Five men gang raped a 20 year old woman in a car in Tamil Nadu's Kanchipuram on 8th of September. A 24 year old Kho Kho player was allegedly choked and dumped near a railway track in Uttar Pradesh's Bijnor, where she died. The girl's family alleged that she was raped before being murdered. On 10th of September, a 15 year old girl was raped at Ulasnagar railway station in Maharashtra. A young woman in Mumbai's Sakinaka area was raped and tortured using a rod in a tempo on 10th of September. She was found lying in a pool of blood and later died due to her injuries. A six-year-old girl was raped and murdered in Hyderabad on 9th of September. A young woman was allegedly abducted, gang-raped and then strangled to death by a group of drunk men in a village in Chhattisgarh on 10th of September. The accused said that they killed or murdered the woman for fighting too much and resisting the rape. A 28-year-old woman who travelled 300 kilometres to meet a man she met online was gang-raped by the man and his three friends in North Kerala. A 25-year-old woman in Bihar's Bhagalpur was allegedly gang-raped by two men on 10th of September, allegedly, after her husband refused to pay extortion money of 500 rupees. A 23-year-old woman has filed a complaint against her father for allegedly raping her for the last eight years. The real figure is much higher as many cases go unreported out of fear. The Delhi gang rape case of 2012 led to an increasing demand for stricter laws. Legal reforms, more severe penalties for rape were introduced in the aftermath of the case. These include fast-tracking courts to move the rape cases through the judicial system swiftly. An amended definition of rape to include anal and oral penetration and much more. The Delhi gang rape case of 2012 is now a distant memory as horrific cases of sexual violence continue to shock the country every day. The shocking numbers and recent incidents show that the ugly reality persists. Every 16 minutes, one woman is raped in India. India recorded 32,000 rape cases in 2019. This means at least 88 women were raped every day. India also reports a high number of other crimes against women, including kidnapping, trafficking, domestic violence and acid attacks. More than 1,000 such cases were reported every day on average during 2019. Women in India are often cautioned about stepping out. But does that mean they are safe inside their homes? In almost 94% of the cases, the offenders were known to the victims. They are family members, friends, live-in partners, employers or others. Till date, India remains one of the 36 countries across the world that has not recognized marital rape. Data shows that a woman is 17 times more likely to be raped or sexually assaulted by her husband compared to others. And yet, the country is not ready to bring marital rape laws. What is also worrying is the disappointing conviction rate. The National Crime Records Bureau data shows that out of 32,000 rape cases, only 30% of the accused persons got convicted. Survivors have seen their abusers get away with the help of money, power, position. While there has been increasing demand for stricter laws against heinous crimes like rape, Indian courts have found reasons to let go of the accused on multiple grounds. Because the accused is an IIT student and hence a talent and state's asset. Because the accused can simply marry the woman he assaulted and then that will resolve the entire matter. Because sometimes the woman does not behave or act like a rape victim. Because the woman who was raped or assaulted fell asleep after the act, which of course is unbecoming of an Indian woman. Because the accused is married to the woman and she is his property, which means consent is implied. Why will the wife say no in a marriage? Because holding a five-year-old girl's hands and unzipping your pants does not amount to sexual assault. A survey conducted by Thomson Reuters Foundation has ranked India as the world's most dangerous country for women. I am a woman. I am scared to live in a country where I cannot travel alone, in a bus, train, metro, cab, auto. A country where I cannot walk alone in the dark or sometimes even in broad daylight. This is the story of every woman in the country. Rape in India is not just a legal issue and we cannot ignore its social aspect. We live in a patriarchal society where women are usually considered the second-class citizens. The problem begins at a very young age. A girl's wishes are not considered as important as that of a boy's. A Pune-based Equal Community Foundation engages with teenage boys from low-income households on gender issues. 
Now, what the organization has noticed is that most of these boys believe that girls in Western clothes are immoral and that they can be harassed because they are asking for it. The organization provides these teenage boys with a platform to talk about concepts like sexuality, consent, mutual respect, something that our schools have failed to teach us. Men and boys are not naturally violent, but patriarchal norms make them insensitive. Therefore, not every man is a part of the problem, but every man can be a part of the solution. We often say a tough law can bring about massive change, but what is a tough law? Law needs to be effective and the investigating agencies and the judiciary have to be efficient. That is what we need. Reform in police force, more women police officers, sensitization in their training, better investigation, proper prosecution, protection of victims, their families, correct way of collecting evidence. Government data from 2019 showed that less than 20% of funds for women's safety from the massive 3200 crore rupees Nirbhaya Fund has been utilized since 2013. Several schemes like victim compensation, medical aid, emergency response, increasing police personnel, CCTV cameras, forensic labs have been introduced, but very little work has been done on ground. One ear to the brutal Hathras gang rape case, ten years to the horrific Delhi gang rape case. Have things changed? Thousands of cases await trial. There is an alarming shortage of forensic labs, fast track courts, investigators, despite tall promises made by the government. Remember, India has laws to stop this heinous crime, but implementation is where we have failed.